So now we, today we will do a, in this lecture I will do a question on, um, on Bayes' theorem, sort of a simple application. So here the question is the following. So let us say here is the question. Suppose uh, let us say you have an exam, your homework, a homework, an NPTEL homework. assignment has say uh, three choices right so the and let's assume one of them is correct only one of them is correct is <coughs> correct right so now And let us say as a student, you know the correct answer with probability one quarter, let us say. So a student doing the assignment knows the answer with probability one third. I said one quarter, right? Let's say one quarter. Let's one quarter. So, so, and then we'll assume that if the student does not know the answer, the student guesses randomly. Okay. So, if the student does not know the answer, then the student guesses randomly. I mean, students should just go and pick one out of three and then tick them as the correct answer. Right? So now the question is: Let's say find the conditional probability that the student knew the answer, given that the answer was answered correctly. Given the question answered correctly, that the student. knew the answer given that the answer was given that the question was answered correctly. So here's let's let's do the answer. Let's do the answer. <coughs> so let me uh, do it in, in in using. I'll use it in Bayes theorem. Let's let's give a uh, uh, let's give a as the event that the student knows the answer. And let let B be the event that the student answer the question correctly. So what is the information in the problem? The problem says that the student knows the answer is probably one quarter, otherwise the student picks randomly, right. So now here is the idea. So now So probability of A, right? That is, the student knows the correct answer is one quarter, right? That's one. That's given. That's given to us. So let me just move it across. So given given probability A is one quarter. That we know. Right? What else do we know? We also know the following fact, right? That is. The probability of let us say student answer the question correctly given the student does not know the answer that is what 
that is going to be just one third because the student just picks uniformly. So this is as student picks uniformly. Right, very good. So there are two facts we know that is uh, from the from the problem. Right, very good. <coughs> now let's let's try and do what do we what do we want to find? What should we find? We want to find what we, are, we want to find the probability that true and knew the answer given that the question answered correctly. So so we want to find the probability of A given B is equal to what? So here is where we will use Bayes theorem. So let me write down the Bayes theorem calculation completely. So just for completeness sake. So probability of A given B, so Bayes theorem will come in a second. So it is, I will write the whole thing out. It is A and B divided by probability of B and probability of A and B is probability of B given A times probability of A probability of A, B is this probability of B and A times probability of A, so B and A times probability plus probability of B and A complement and that is the same as probability of B given A times probability of A, the whole thing divided by probability of B given A times probability of A plus probability of B given A complement times probability of A complement. So we could have got this directly, this statement right here from Bayes theorem. Okay. So from this, what all do we know? We know we know probability B given A complement. We, if you reduce Bayes theorem directly, we know this part. We know we know probability of A. We know probability of A complement. That's easy to. Know. But these two things are a little bit hard to find, right? So we let's let's try. That. So let's see. So it should be fairly easy also. Let's just check. So now no. Let's see. So so note. So probability of a complement is same as one minus the probability of a. So that's one minus one quarter. That's just three quarters. Right? That that we can get from here. Right from this part. Very good. Now let's do another thing. What's probability of b given a? That is the probability that. Let's go back here. Let us copy these two things down. Copy this down. Let us bring it down here. Paste it. Let us come here. Let me cut it. Let me cut this guy also. Probably B given A is what is B now? B is the event that the student knew the correct answer question correctly. So the probability that let me move this down. Condition of the fact that sorry, let me go down, let me put this thing. The fact that student knew the answer correctly, right? This is what right. but this will stay a little bit. This is just what this is what is going to be equal to true answer question correctly and know the answer correctly. That means the probability is going to be b given a is going to be one. Right? Nothing to be done because it's very simple, right? Nothing because student know. If student answer correctly, given that student knew the answer, the student will pick the answer. There is nothing to be done. That is equal to 1. And then we know, so now we can go back to this formula. So therefore, probability of, so let us go back to this formula star here, star here. So we know all the pieces now. We know probability of B given A, we know probability of A, A complement, B, everything we know. So we go back now. So therefore, probability of A given B. probability of A given B is the same as probability of, so what do we have here? Let us copy this down. Let me copy this whole thing down right here. Very good. 
edit copy so may erase all this right so this is going to be equal to now this is going to be equal to what's probability b given a b given a is just 1 times the probability of a is uh, 1 quarter right that's what we have probability the 1 quarter whole thing divided by probability b given a again is 1 times 1 quarter plus b given a complement is 1 third that you pick randomly and then complement is 3 quarters so what's the answer the answer is 1 quarter cancels off so you get 1 by 1 plus 3 so you get 3 by 4 very nice so that's the chance that that's the probability that a student knew the answer given knew answer given that the question was answered correctly that is probability b given a so it's simple application of Bayes theorem and you have to compute the various probabilities to put the answer down okay. so here I'll just make it a little bit let's see if I can rotate this nonsense on the end. I'll leave this in a clean set of notes so that you can sort of write this down cleanly so <coughs> Thank you. So let's complete this question. Very nice. 